Because I'm inevitably going to go on a rant here, I'm going to get this out of the way, you know, and then whatever for the for the rest of the video. But yeah, Chelsea did play extremely well there. Uh, that was a phenomenal display of pressing, uh, of just, yeah, closing down any scrap of attack that we looked as though we had. Uh, they fully deserve to be in the final and, uh, you know, I prefer them over Arsenal, so I hope they do win. Uh, so yeah, I'll get that out of the way now before I go on to the rant because yeah, they played extremely well and uh, they've beat us for the first time this season and unfortunately it means we're out the FA Cup but yeah, shocking, absolutely shocking. Uh, only Fernandez can hold his head up in that game. Uh, he deserved the goal that he got, obviously it was a penalty which yeah, Penchester United, all this shit, 19 penalties that we've had this season but to be honest, bar two or three, they're all stone wallers so you know, you can shut the fuck up with that shit. Um, but yeah, Fernandez scored it. Uh, cut, uh, Callum cuts in a doy. Um, it was a clear foul, clear foul. And uh, yeah, Fernandez has slotted that one away. But yeah, he was cut above the rest of uh, everyone else in our, our squad today. Everything was just off. Like uh, I know Chelsea had two extra rest days, which is is key in you know the the current situation that we're in, the the pandemic, all the um, regulations and all this other shit. Uh, yeah, Chelsea had two more rest days and you could see it. Their, their players just looked fitter, brighter. And of course, I, it's not just down to the two days rest. I know that they've rotated a lot more than we have, um, which, you know, is, is a little bit unfortunate on our part. We should have probably rotated in other games um, because players like Maguire, like Juan Basaka, they, they're just exhausted. You can just see they are exhausted. They're, they're so sloppy. They're, they, they weren't very good today. Um... And yeah, I mean, one thing I haven't mentioned yet, uh, I really hope Eric Bailly is okay. That looked horrendous. It really did. Two head injuries. Obviously, the second was uh, was his fault, but the first one wasn't. And yeah, it was just within five minutes of each other. He looked fine and then went down off the ball and <sighs> couldn't walk off the pitch, went down again. And yeah, it looks. It really looks really, really serious. He's He's been plagued by injuries. He really has. This one isn't really his fault. I know it's a little bit rash, but it, it's... It, it's just horrible. It really is. I really hope he's not Phil Jones Mark II, uh, a promising centre-back, a promising young centre-back that's played by, plagued by injuries and a little bit of rashness. Um, uh, but again, you never want to see anything like that. I mean, it ended up being about 15 minutes added on in the first half. I don't, I, that's unprecedented. I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, but yeah, in the resulting injury time that uh, ensued, it's a lovely ball by, is it Reese James? I don't give a fuck. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> Giroud taps it in with a deft little finish. I feel like Giroud played well. I think the commentators, you could kind of tell Martin Keown is an Arsenal fan because all he banged on about all game was Giroud and how good Giroud was. I thought he was decent, but I mean, bar the goal, what did he do, really? Like... You know, he held up the ball now and then. Um, but I feel like Kovacic was Chelsea's man of the match. But he was barely mentioned. Uh, he was everywhere, though. Like, he, he uh, harassed our midfield. Uh, he was really, really good technically. He won the ball back about 12 times. Um, so, yeah, I would have went Matteo Kovacic was Chelsea's man of the match. Not Giroud. But, hey-ho. Uh, whatever. Anyway, um, the second goal came... D I haven't even mentioned the big thing, have I? Oh, my fucking God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but Dean Henderson has to be our number one. I love to hear, I really do, but no, this is too many. This is too many now. It's like 12 mistakes in the last season alone. It's too many for a goalkeeper, it really is. This was identical to his World Cup era for Spain when they drew 3-3 against Portugal. It, it's a shit shot from Mount. It's a piss easy save, and he's let it in. And just, yeah, straight after half time as well, where, you know, I mean, it was 30 seconds, but we, we looked like we were, you know, pressing with a little bit more urgency. But after that, we looked deflated as fuck. 2 0 down, you know, everything's killed off after that. So, yeah, he, he was kind of at fault for the first goal as well. It was a really good finish by Giroud. I've got nothing against Giroud. I know I've just, you know, thinged, but I just feel the commentators were, were just. Ugh. Like that's all. That's the only Chelsea player I could hear them saying. They they barely mentioned anyone else. And yeah, anyhow, uh, De Gea should have saved the first one, and he definitely should have saved the second one. So yeah, Dean Henderson with the form he's on at Sheffield United, he's got to be our number one next season. Also, I really don't understand why is Romero not playing. He's the cup keeper. Like it's the semi final of an FA Cup. I understand De Gea sometimes plays the finals. He did in the Europa League, I believe, when we won it. But. 
Yeah, where's Romero? Romero should have played, and yeah, maybe we wouldn't have lost. Because uh, for 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 as good as Chelsea were, and they were, they were brilliant. They deserved the win, of course they did, but they didn't really have too many like clear cut chances until after they were two 0 up. Uh, then they had a few uh, chances where De Gea did make some good saves, but I mean, it, it's just it, it's Carrias level errors. Like you can't defend that. You can't get away from it because. Unfortunately for a goalkeeper, they make an error and that's that's a goal nine times out of ten. And you just you can't accept that. And two in one game and twelve in one season, that might be a little bit harsh there. It's probably six or seven, but still, they're huge. They're really, really huge and you, you can't let that go. No matter how good he's been, no matter how amazing he was for a four or five year period where he was the best goalkeeper in the world, you, you can't. You just can't um rely on Sorry, not rely. You can't look back and um, f- show favourability um, when there's this many calamitous errors. But anyhow, uh, after that 2-0, um, as I say, Chelsea pushed on. They did look as though they would score a few more. The first half, to be honest, was quite quiet from both sides. I haven't mentioned it too much. But yeah, I mean, Chelsea looked the better team. But again, they didn't really create too many clear-cut opportunities. Um, Fernandez was absolutely like fed scraps. And he, he created quite a bit from it, to be honest. There's a few through balls. Um, where the players couldn't quite latch onto it, um, just clever passes that nobody else could see on the pitch. He just looked a level above everybody else today. And considering he's played almost every minute, I know he's been subbed off quite a bit late on in games, but he's certainly played a lot of the games. Well, he's played every single game, is what I'm trying to say. And he's he's um, outran most of the players. Like he he was he was the furthest back and the furthest forward all at the same time today in our midfield. Um, but yeah, this I haven't mentioned it either. The system that Oli tried, uh, the back five, I thought would you know do quite well because that's what Chelsea lined up with. That's what we beat them four nil on the opening day with. But yeah, you can tell the players just weren't weren't getting it really. Like yeah, we were we were getting pressed far too highly. We couldn't get out of our own third. Um, and yeah, uh, obviously by his injury uh, spurred us to to play our actual formation, uh, the the four two three one that served us really really well for the last nineteen games. But yeah, we just need to put this behind us. Um, I haven't actually mentioned the the third goal. Ugh, what was it again? I can't even remember now. I genuinely can't even remember who the hell scored the third one uh, for Chelsea. I, I honestly cannot remember. I was just fuming at that point. Um, I think this was a, a decent goal, wasn't it? Um, Rudiger, that was it. It was Rudiger, wasn't it? From a from a corner, or a free kick, or something, or a cross. Um, no, it wasn't. It was a Maguire own goal. It looked like a Rodriguez goal. Yeah, okay. It was a Maguire. It was a Maguire own goal. As I say, he didn't have a great game today, but yeah, he's played every single minute this season in the Premier League. He's played practically all the cups. I don't even know if he's had a rest. I don't even know if he's not played a game this season. Um, so yeah, he he's just fatigued. And yes, that's a cop out excuse. I know he wasn't great today. Uh, he did make some good defensive clearances when the ball was. Uh, you know, the duels against Olivier Giroud, the man of the match. But yeah, um, he's just fatigued. He really is. He needs a rest. Um, although I suppose we can't actually grant that with uh, West Ham being a key game now. The only good thing today, Leicester lost 3-0. So that means the goal difference is now level with us. They've scored three more goals though. So, you know, we still need to beat them on goal difference. Um so yeah, if we can get anything against against West Ham, it goes to the final. Well, regardless, it goes to the final day. If we win, lose, draw, it goes to the final day. Um, but yeah, uh, that that's the only uh, saving grace for us. But as I say, I fully expect Chelsea to win the FA Cup now. Uh, I know Arsenal played absolutely tremendously against Manchester City. Wonderful display of uh, grit and determination. And it's quite funny because Chelsea's defence has been fairly shit recently as well. Arsenal's well, most banterous defence in the league. But in the FA Cup semi-finals, both defences were very, very resolute and they played phenomenally. And it kind of questions, why can't they do that in the league a lot more? Um, you know, I know Arteta has only just joined, etc. So maybe he can share up the defence, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, I, I still think Chelsea will win in that final. I know they beat Liverpool as well. But Liverpool seem to have given up after winning the title, to be honest. Um, so... So yeah, it's just, it's a poor game, poor performance, 3-1, first defeat in 20 games, and it just doesn't feel good, Uh, of course, of course it doesn't, we could have been in a final, could have won a trophy, Uh, but we've still got the Europa League, we've still got top four, which is very much on, we just need to kick back and let let go of this um, sloppiness, 
the the sloppiness and the the fatigue um particularly the sloppiness though we really just need to forget about it and just go again like that's it we're, the fa cup's done blah 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 just don't even think about it focus on the league where we're still i don't know 13 games un, unbeaten in the league something like that i don't know 12 11 whatever we're a long period of time where we haven't lost in the league so keep that up for the last two games of the season solidify top four then we can focus on europa league which is uh, I think August the 5th is when we play Lask, where we can rest a lot of players because we're 5-0 up, and then we can really give the Europa League a go and get a trophy at the end of the season. But anyhow, I'm going to end this before I get even more frustrated. I think I'm going to move on to the rum. I've been on the beer, but yeah, regardless. Anyhow, congrats Chelsea, and yeah, I'll be surprised if they don't lift the cup now. So yeah, credit to Lampard. <laughs>